Bonjour à tous, je suis Maxime Fabien Birina. My name is Martina Nadia Mahodoy. Ben Abutrek. Astina Altuya. This is Dr. Oscar Mervin. I'm Bistra. My name is Gabriela Cassandra Savera Cruz. Je suis Jamila Sawadogo. On est là, Priscilla, on vous déclare. Greetings from Brazil. Namaste from Nepal. I'm from Malaysia. I'm from Malawi. I am from Zambia. India. Madagascar. Cameroon. I'm a young sexual and reproductive health educator. I work as a public health nurse. I'm a medical student. I'm a photographer and filmmaker. I'm a specialist in planification familial. I'm dedicated to driving positive change for their faith with disabilities. I call myself a young intersectional ecofeminist. I'm full of love and passion for SIHR of young people. Many girls and young women in my community like adequate and safe family planning services. There is need for awareness question about the rights of persons with disabilities when it comes to family planning. During an emergency response, sexual and reproductive health needs are oftentimes sidelined. De la mortalité maternelle, néonatale et infantile. Les infections sexuellement transmissibles, le taux des besoins non satisfaits. And the shame that is associated with women discussing their own bodily needs. Every woman of reproductive age has the right to choose any form of family planning method. So that every woman, every girl, everyone gets sexual and reproductive justice. That's what we want. We wanted to do something about it. We advocate for policy changes and we foster an environment of solidarity and empowerment. To guide the government on making their climate crisis response gender inclusive. In my research, I bring into consideration the concept of intersectionality. I'm trying to turn every story of pain into a story of power. I proudly leverage creativity and artivism to bridge the SRHR knowledge gap. J'ai réussi à intégrer le football à travers le forum de sensibilisation sur la santé sexuelle et reproductive. Brindando información concisa y adecuada para los adolescentes y jóvenes. I face criticism, I face religious backlash, and even sometimes I'm labeled too open. Yet, there is hope. Our innovative platform has been adopted by over 1,800 young girls. We were able to start campaigns and mobilize voters. We trained healthcare professionals in basic sign language. Hemos podido llegar a más de 1,450 jóvenes en más de seis departamentos de Bolivia. I spent over six months on ground in flood-affected areas providing contraceptives, menstrual kits, safety and pregnancy kits. J'ai formé plus de 150 jeunes leaders communautaires. Nous sommes la génération qui apportera des changements significatifs. Attending the International Conference of Family Planning will be a transformative experience for me. The ICFP 2025 for me is going to be a springboard to meaningful engagement. To building new relationship and a collaborate with young professionals across various sectors. At ICFP 2025, I aim to take this local moment global. At the conference, I really want to see how we explore strategies to meet youths where they are. We think this is the opportunity to get some conversation going that otherwise we wouldn't be able to have. For joining in this combat for a world where planification familial is a right and not a privilege. I am filled with excitement and optimism about the possibilities that lie ahead. Se potenciará en el intercambio en la Conferencia Internacional de Planificación Familiar, que será por primera vez en Latinoamérica. And I can't wait to see what family planning dialogue is in store for us here. Merci beaucoup. Thank you. Nos vemos allá.